Good afternoon. Welcome to today's webinar. I'm Stefano. You might remember me from some of the older Incomedia uh, webinar we've, de we've done. And in case you watch them too, you might remember me. Uh, and today I'm accompanied by Giancarlo from SEO Tester Online, which is, I'm, I'm sure you know it already, but it's this one famous website dedicated to testing your website as far as SEO is uh, concerned. Uh, we've recently had a partnership with them. Um, we're offering up a discount to use their services, uh, which we, of course, believe to be very useful, especially if you want your website to be ranked among the first online when your clients, when your customers or even users you have not reached yet are going to be searching the web uh, for an activity, for a company, for a service such as yours uh, um, or stuff like that. So today's webinar is going to be uh, completely focused uh, on SEO, on some of the most general rules, uh, advices, um, let's say all that you need to know in order to set up your website correctly um, so that you can be easily found by your customers, uh, so that your website works as expected uh, when searched on any device, let's just say stuff like that. Uh, so again, we have Giancarlo today, which is the specialist as far as SEO is concerned, is going to be uh, talking today for most of the time. You're going to be hearing from him most of the time. Um, he's going to be presenting to you uh, what we prepared today uh, on the topic. Uh, so yeah, after we're done, we're going to be moving on to Website X5, which of course is our uh, website software solution, which allows you to build your own website with a drag and drop interface and put your website online. I'm going to be showing you how to customize um, SEO uh, in the software. So what tools you have at your disposal when building the website to make sure that it, it is properly, proper, I'm sorry, properly configured and easily visible and accessible online. Uh, so that being said, I'm going to leave Giancarlo to you. Uh, I'm just going to uh, show his screen to you as well. So there you go, Giancarlo. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, thank you, Stefano. Thank you all to be on this webinar. Uh, so first of all, uh, who I am? I am Giancarlo Schuto. I am CMO and co-founder of SEO Testing Online. Um, I spend my days uh, try to let the startup growth, let the tool growth, uh, try to catch all the needs from our customer, our users, and try to uh, pass all these needs uh, to the dev teams uh, and try to improve our platform. Uh, so also I wrote as a consultant, as a teacher sometimes, and also I wrote a, a, a book. And uh, if you want to practice some uh, uh, Italian, because the, the book is Italian, uh, you can also take a look to it. So uh, what I want to say during this webinar um, is, of course, I don't want to make a, a, a masterclass. We have not enough time to, to do it. Uh, a big, long um, SEO lesson, uh, but I want to um, give you some advice, some focus points you can uh, use during your SEO journey uh, using, of course, uh, if you want to SEO test online and, of course, uh, website X5. So the first things we can say is that create a website is very, very simple. It's super easy, especially if you use uh, the Incomedia uh, tool, of course. Uh, but more uh, the website creation process is easy, uh, the more are the websites online. So and mm, this is, the, uh, this is the, the, the good and the worst part, just because more than 33,000 websites uh, a person on the internet every hour. So uh, the part that is not good, of course, the COVID pushed uh, ahead with this uh, this trend. Um, more and more company uh, digitalized their business, uh, try to improve their presence online, making an e-commerce, uh, improving their SEO strategies, their adver advertising strategies. Uh, so these are pushing the competition. So today, uh, the real challenge is not to create a website, but make your brand and your website too visible on search engines. Uh, so this is basically our mission, is try to help entrepreneurs, web agency, consultants, uh, e-commerces 
to try to reach the first three search engine position or at least the first page, of course, just because um, rank on Google, uh, have new visits uh, on your website is very difficult because the 90% of the users on Google uh, visits only the, um, the website on the first page, especially on the first three position, as I said before. So you must be on the first page of Google uh, to let your website be uh, a business asset, uh, be, um, have a, to, to have a, um, a return on the investment you do on it, okay? So we can do SEO, of course, as a, uh, one of the uh, one of the gun you have in your in your uh, uh, in your pocket uh, to improve your visibility, uh, improve the brand's visibility. So the SEO is divided in, basically in two parts: the on-page SEO and the off-page SEO. So uh, the on-page SEO, as it, as you can see on the on the slide, is the nasty part of SEO. Uh, why I say that? Just because um, the the on-page SEO is uh, uh, all the technical stuff, all the technical things you can do directly on your website. Uh, of course, if you use a, a website X5, you can do it uh, through the um, the screens uh, that you you will see later. Okay, uh, so basically the on-page SEO uh, techniques, on-page SEO optimization are all the stuffs you can uh, optimize, of course, directly, uh, putting your hands on the website and changing all the settings. Uh, so I want to uh, go through a checklist. We have a one checklist for the on-page SEO and another one for the off-page SEO. So this is the 13 things you should apply to your website to optimize your SEO. So the first part um, is based on code, performance, and let me say also user experience. Uh, why I want to um, match three things all together? Just because these three things uh, are um, uh, evaluated by Google, uh, basically uh, under the same name, okay? Uh, starting from 2021, Google say to all the webmasters, all the entrepreneurs, hey, you have to optimize your performances and your user experience too, your website user experience too. Just because starting from now, we will rank your website basing our valuation, also basing it on uh, probably two or three hundred other elements, also on the core web vitals. What are the core web vitals? Are a set of um, exams that Google do on your website, basing this exam on uh, uh, code optimization, performances, so the speed of your website, and of course, on user experience too. And this is um, really a new things, especially on the user experience. Let me say Google, um, in the past three, four years said, uh, hey, you have to optimize your website to speed up your website, but he didn't um, focus on uh, on the user experience. But starting from 2021, with, with the core web vitals, Google say, hey, also you need to uh, optimize your user experience. And this is a, um, change, a game changer things, just because you, uh, if you put uh, two buttons to um, one near the other, uh, two near, uh, one um, I, I, one text with a low contrast, uh, let me say a yellow text on a white background, uh, all the things uh, impact your user experience, uh, are um, giving your, your users a worse uh, navigation flow. Uh, your user is uh, uh, unable to click the right button, unable to read the text on your website, uh, and all these things are impacting as a rank factor starting the 2021 announcement um, as a ranking factor, as I said, um, also on the, on, on the things. So you have to start optimize your experience and your performances too. 
uh, this um, impact your website when you uh, try to uh, download content easily and rapidly? Uh, this is impact your website when you choose your uh, server or hosting provider. So uh, if your web uh, website is low, your rank is impacted by this issue. Okay, so this is the first um, important things, uh, but it's not the only one. Just because a uh, uh, worse performance is not only um, a problem for the SEO uh, hand, but in the other end, is is a problem also for the uh, the user because they have to wait time to load a page. Uh, they are unable to click the right button. Uh, they can bans from uh, your website because they don't want to uh, wait the time that a page uh, load when they try to go to the checkout. So all these things are for sure not the good things for the uh, SEO hand, but also for the user experience for uh, your user in general. Okay, so take attention when you do SEO, uh, you have to uh, you have to have in mind your user before google okay and this is a, a let me say a golden rule you have to take in uh, in your mind so the other things you have to uh, take in your mind that is a uh, your website communicate with uh, google with the browser uh, using meta tags using the html uh, language okay so you have to put the the right meta tag uh, to give to the browser, to Google, the right information. Uh, so if you have to, um, I don't know, to set a title as the main title of the web page, you have to use the meta tag title or the meta tag uh, heading one, okay? Or if you want that uh, the browser and the meta, um, the um, search engine, of course, show the right page in the right language, uh, when a user search from uh, the US or from Italy, uh, of course, you have to set the right uh, hreflang meta tag, okay? And there are lots of meta tag. You have to study the majority, of course, and you have to apply them in the right way and, and have clear in mind that meta tags are um, the, the key, the focus points when your uh, website try to have a dialogue uh, with the search engines is uh, uh, like uh, create a more clear structure uh, of the code of your website to communicate all the right information to the search engine and to your user too, okay? Um, the other things is uh, about content, okay? As I said before, you have to be mind uh, uh, not only Google, but first of all, your users. So you have to make quality content, okay? To create unique content. Uh, avoid duplication uh, with the contents in uh, your home website or from the contents in, the, uh, in your competitor's website, okay? So avoid uh, duplication. Uh, and you also have to create contents with your own tone of voice, uh, your own information. Try to be different from your competitors and your user uh, will appreciate this uh, kind of differentiation, okay? Um, and this is the best part. If your content is useful for your user, uh, the, the website will uh, uh, rank your content better, okay? Uh, and of course, the number of users, the typology of users that we will read, uh, this will read your contents depends on the keyword research you do, okay? And this is all about SEO. Uh, if you do the right keyword research, you can target the right users with the, the right needs and in, let me say, in, in the right amount. So we don't need thousand and thousand of users on our website. We need 100, 200 of users, but that's half of them by our product, let me say, okay? It depends, of course, on your website, on your product, on your services. Uh, but uh, what I want to say is uh, you don't need huge quantity. You need quality. 
Um, and also, a huge, quant a huge quantity of users may impact your, your website in terms of, of performances. Um, of course, you may need a um, higher plan uh, for your hosting provider or something else. Okay? So, uh, don't concentrate your, strat your strategies only on quantity, on volume, on search volume. Okay? Uh, but also on quality. So try to make the right keyword search. Try to think how your users may think about your services, about your products, about especially your needs. And I'm sure that if you match a right keyword search with top quality content, you, of course, will rock on the, on the search engines. So I, um, I talked about the, the Mets tag. Uh, the titles, as I said, are mm, a special type of, uh, let me say, of uh, uh, meta tag, just because uh, they impact also um, not only things we may don't see, like the um, hreflang, okay, tag, meta tag, but also the formatting of your website or your web pages. Uh, for example, uh, if you have a website, if you have a blog article, Sam, you, you put the H1, H2 uh, meta tag title, you can uh, change the uh, dimension of your phone. This is not mandatory, okay? But usually uh, this is the, the way that it works, okay? Uh, so this is the first part uh, of the importance Okay, about the importance of the, the tag title. Uh, the other things is about uh, um, making structure of your text. text. Make, it, uh, make it more readable. Okay, so if you put uh, the main title, the subtitle, uh, paragraphs, uh, all the readers may intercept uh, what they need to know, uh, what they are searching for. Okay, uh, so you need to make a the right structure of your website or your web pages or your articles, of course, and the title helps you doing that. Of course, you can also set the tag title, okay, the title tag uh, that is shown on the on the SERP, that is shown on the search results in the snippet is the basically the title you can say you can see on the search engines when you do every research. Okay. Another thing that is important. Uh, are the images of your website. Just because um, you can rank um, in a different way on the classic search engine uh, and in Google Images, okay? So if your website is in 10 position uh, in a written query, okay, in a written uh, search, on Google Image, you can rank first or second, okay? Uh, and this is depends on the fact that uh, those are two different search engines and um, people search for different uh, input, okay? So let me make an, exam an example, okay? If you search for a um, haircut or for uh, some clothes, uh, you probably you don't want to navigate a website of course you you may be interested in a navigate a website but uh, first of all probably you are interested in uh, uh, see some new clothes some is some inspirations uh, some new things you can uh, uh, show to your hair designer uh, saying hey I want to have this uh, uh, the same uh, haircut uh, I see I saw on Google okay uh, so basically Google images, have lots, lots, lots of uh, opportunities to rank, opportunities to intercept new users, new clients uh, for your website, okay? So uh, take that in mind and try to optimize your, your web images, okay? Uh, compress uh, the weight of the images, try to stay on uh, 100 kilobytes, for example, uh, try to optimize uh, with uh, the right keyword research your uh, alt tag, try to optimize the file names, just because all these things are, um, uh, taken, are taken in consideration by the search engines when, they, uh, when, when he try to um, rank your contents, okay? 
So, and the last things I want to suggest to you about the on-page SEO is try to take in consideration also the internal links, okay? When we, when we talk about links, we always talk about uh, link building, okay? Uh, link building, try to have link from other websites, try to have mentions, try to have uh, uh, things we can uh, manage directly, okay? But th this is difficult, okay? You can, but you can manage in, in an easy way the internal links, the structure, the taxonomy of your web website, okay? Uh, and this is really, really important just because uh, if you put your, um, uh, it's like a tree, okay? If you put uh, on the top level, the most important things and on the bottom, uh, the, um, the things that you think are, yes, important for your, uh, for your users, for your clients, but not so much. Also, the search engines will consider this information in this way. Okay, so try to use, for example, the main menu of your website to show the most important things for you, for your business strategies, for your users, and of course, for the search engines. And then try to create the more clear uh, possible structure, uh, the most linear structure. Try to make some um, internal linking between uh, articles and pages, but taking in mind that... Uh, um, you have to create a, a linking structure that is not artificial, but trying to help to, to really help your users to navigate your website, to navigate uh, your um, your resources. Okay, so for example, if you have a product, uh, it's right to put in the um, in the same page a link to the sites page. Okay, in order to help uh, your user to choose the right size for this article, okay? Uh, for example, if it's a t-shirt, okay? So internal links uh, are tricky, I know, okay? But try to uh, put some um, attention uh, on this part of the SEO strategy. So the other part of the SEO is off-page SEO. Okay, the, the, the on-page SEO is the nasty part, okay? The off-page, the difficult one. Um, let me show the difference, okay? On-page SEO is about what we can manage directly. Uh, on the other hand, off-page SEO is about all the things that impact our website from the, uh, from the outside, okay? Uh, from other websites, uh, from the social media, uh, from the, um, I don't know, other, um, other platform about testimonials or uh, YouTube. So all the things you can't manage directly. So as we did with the, uh, with the SEO checklist, we have the SEO off-page checklist, okay? First of all, link building. Of course, we talked about uh, internal linking, but also we have to uh, try to um, attract new link from the outside. Uh, so this is normally called uh, link earning, okay? Link earning is about uh, when you make a good content, other website uh, and other people uh, say, oh, this content is useful, so I want to link this content on uh, one of my resources, okay? Uh, so they put a link, and this is link earning, because you are Earn, uh, you earn a link um, in a natural way. This is the normal way uh, in which link uh, should be um, uh, attract on your website. But <laughs> because we uh, we are strategists, we are SEO specialists, or we are entrepreneurs, and we want to uh, work on the capacity of our website to uh, attract new link, we, of, we of course can pay to do that, okay? And so this is the difference be between link earning and link building. If you pay for a link, if you pay another website to link your website, you are doing link building, okay? So uh, link building uh, is uh, really tricky. Um, it's tricky because um, it's not allowed 
by the search engine. Google say you have not to do link building, okay? Because it's a sort of ma manipulation of the search results, okay? Because you build uh, trust on your website uh, artificially, okay? So you have to do it carefully. Uh, so you have to uh, make the right decisions, make the right choices uh, to implement the right strategy. So if you are um, not confident with this kind of things, uh, please don't do that, okay? Don't try this at home. Uh, try to uh, ask for a consultancy. Uh, try to at least study, study, study uh, link building, okay? And try to make little experiments and try to, to understand how the search engine um, give you a reply to your um, to your activities, okay? And don't uh, over uh, optimize your pages. Don't create uh, uh, I don't know hundreds of links that point to your web pages. The point on the web pages you want to rank better because this is not the right way to do that. Okay, uh, so you have to build link. Uh, constantly in time with the right website, with the right contents, uh, with the right uh, uh, also metrics. Okay, so take attention and be careful when you do link building. And of course, uh, it's the same when you do guest posting. Okay, so when you um, are guests on a partner website. Okay, uh, you write a content and you put some links on it, uh, and it's the same, the same thing. Okay, so try to be carefully too. And what about social media? Okay, uh, lots of people ask that on uh, SEO test online. Um, social media impact the rank uh, of my website. So um, the question is about. Um, how social media can impact your website ranking, okay? Uh, social signals are not a rank factor, a direct rank factor, okay? But mm, they can impact not directly your site ranking, okay? Just because uh, if you put a content uh, blog post, for example, on the social media and you reach... Uh, a good number of shares, uh, comments, and likes. Um, of course, in every social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter. Um, and all these signals uh, say to the search engine, hey, this content, um, that people is appreciating this content. So this content could be useful when, uh, uh, when other people search this kind of information on the search engine too. Okay, uh, so try to build your um, social media um, channels. Try to share your contents on social media and try to um, give to the search engine new social signals because they can um, can help your rank better. Okay, can help you rank better. And this is the same thing with the brand reputation. Okay. Brand reputation is about mm, how other people uh, take in consideration your brand, okay? Your um, your website, not in, in terms of uh, what you do, okay? But in terms of what you are. So try to build reputation because uh, the, your brand is the most um great uh, weapon you have when you do SEO okay because it's like a, a vortex your brand reputation will push your SEO optimization then your SEO positioning will push your brand reputation and this is like a circle okay so try to um to build this kind of circle, try to build your brand reputation, your brand awareness, because this will impact, of course, on your web ranking and your web ranking will impact on your web reputation too, okay? And of course, it's the same for reviews, okay? It's like uh, um, hear from someone else that some, something is a good product, okay? 
uh, reviews works in, a, in, in the same way, okay? Uh, are like suggestions. And you can see uh, that um, reviews are taken in consideration by the search engines because you can see reviews on the search results too, okay? So uh, as we said for the social media, also reviews um, make signals, okay? Um, give signals to users, give signals to um, the search engine, uh, and of course, uh, make trust, okay? Uh, improve your brand reputation too. So uh, as you can say, off-page SEO is um, is like a miscellaneous of things, okay? It's like uh, all the things that outside your website may impact your, um, how are the people and also how are the, uh, search engines uh, taking on, in consideration your website. Okay, so the last things is page is, is uh, sorry is PR and influencer marketing and like social media, uh, like reviews, like the um, other channels. Uh, PR and influencer marketing are strategies you can implement to create a uh, uh, better brand reputation, to uh, push your link earning, to um, improve your social signals. So also this one is a, um, is a great weapon to improve, uh, not directly, but indirectly, your, um, your ranking on uh, Google and the other search engines. Okay? But... The question is, uh, which path to choose, on-page SEO or off-page SEO? This is another great question we received uh, probably one time a week, okay? So uh, what I can say is uh, the secret is not to choose, okay? You have to do both. You have to start from the base, start optimizing um, all the, S the on-page SEO factors, okay? Try to... Um, uh, dodge all the things you can manage uh, without any complicated stuff, okay? Uh, I'm not saying it's easy to do that, okay? But probably it's easier than uh, the off-page SEO. So when you have built uh, your uh, on-page SEO, start with building your brand or at the same time, okay? Uh, build your brand Try to um, uh, make to the others uh, a reason to link your website, to link your product, your articles. And this, of course, will impact your link building strategy. Okay. And last but least, always optimize. So um, lots of people think that SEO is a um, one-time thing. So I build uh, my website. I make some SEO optimization and that's all. Okay, uh, I didn't, uh, uh, I, I will do not do nothing for the next uh, probably six or eight months, okay? Uh, but this is not the, the right way to do SEO. You have to, uh, to take your website always monitored, okay? You have to understand not only how your website is changing the new optimization that he needs, it needs, okay? Uh, but uh, also you have to um, understand what your competitor are doing, what Google is doing, okay? Because algorithm always change because uh, because uh, all the um, uh, all, all the competitors do uh, new moves, okay? And you have to react, you have to anticipate, uh, you have to uh, make your move too, okay? When uh, we talk about SEO optimization. So always optimize, always monitor your website and do continuously your SEO uh, optimization process, okay? So to do this, probably you need the right tools. And I am here because uh, I am CMO and co-founder of SEO Test Online. As, as I said before, we help entrepreneurs, e-commerce, uh, web agency, uh, digital digital specialists all over the world in over 45 countries uh, in the world and we have some um, some points in mind uh, some points that differentiate SEO tester online uh, from the the other competitor okay uh, SEO tester online is really really easy to use and guided 
we uh, always have a suggestion we always have a guided tool a wizard something that um, will help you in the optimization process okay uh, it's an only one platform because you you will find all the seo tools you need to create your strategies you will have lots of tools i'll show you uh next and of course it's convenient because with one subscription you have all, um, over 10 uh seo tools uh, especially with the promo with the website x5 okay so uh let me talk also about uh, the power of data we have 36 international database uh you can optimize search uh for keywords volume and other data uh, search for backlink search for a uh, uh, um, lots, lots of stuff in 36, 36 uh, um, languages, also in four search engines. So Google, Bing, Yahoo, and Yandex. Uh, you can uh, manage the power of 1.5 terabytes of uh, data with uh, 1.5 billions of historical information. Okay. So let me say a huge amount of data. Okay. And uh, we our customers are located in all over the world this is the reason why uh, the platform is already available in italian english spanish french polish and german okay uh, but of course if you are in a, a other part of the world so write us and we will try to translate the platform to your own languages as soon as possible okay uh, the tools are different are uh, about seo uh, technical stuff uh, position tracking, keyword research, uh, sales, because uh, also we have a lead generation tool. Uh, is about content creation, content analysis, competitor study. Uh, it's about team management because you can put your team member, you can manage your clients, your uh, all your stuff using the projects and the, the workspace function. And of course, you can create and share your clients or your collabor uh, your um, partners' uh, white label reports. Okay, so uh, I don't want to bore you. Okay. Uh, so you can do SEO audits, you can do position tracking, content marketing, keyword research, competitor analysis, SEO reporting, backlink checking, lead generation, workspaces, and that's all. So today and tomorrow you can grab this tool, okay? Uh, with the promo uh, we are doing uh, in, in partnership with the website X5 and Incomedia uh, with a, a discount up to 30 plus 35% off, okay? Uh, just because we have a 30%, 35% discount, but also on the annual plan that we already discount uh, at a 30%, okay? So the plan starts at uh, 11 euros, okay? Uh, for the, the light plan, and you can arrive also to the premium or the infinity if you have a, a big agency, I don't know, or a big amount of, of, information, of, of information you want to store on SEO tests and online. So that's all. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Giancarlo. Thank you for, for being here today. So I would like to say that I, I think the first thing we learned today is that the on-page part of the SEO is nasty and that the off-page is difficult. So in short, yeah. there's just no easy part to SEO, am I right? <laughs> no, absolutely. But um, this is the reason why uh, probably you need the right tool to do that, okay? Um, if you use the right tool, uh, all this kind of, of stuff uh, may be more easy, okay? Uh, of course, uh, of course, you have to um, to study. You have to uh, take time to do all the optimization. Okay, of course, you may need some help from a developer or someone else. Okay, but uh, the, the important part is to start to do SEO. Okay. Yeah, of, of course, services like SEO Tester Online exist just for this reason, to make things yeah. easier for people that maybe do not have the time um, to study this topic every day. So we have these teams of experts uh, uh, that are going to be helping you through uh, all of this maybe technical, maybe more commercial anyway, stuff that takes up a lot of your time. You should maybe be putting into your activity instead into your company instead, leaving this job to the experts. So um, with that out of the way, um, since you said before that, of course, uh, SEO tester online aims at making this easier, 
Um, of course, this is also uh, the main focus of our software, which is Website X5, which I'm going to be showing to you uh, in a while. So making all of the on-page SEO part uh, much easier for you to complete successfully. Of course, the off-page part of the SEO is something different. It's not something you have control over. So it's, it's much more difficult for the software to be able to take care of that. But the on-page part of the SEO, I believe we got it covered. So if you can just give me a moment, Giancarlo, I will be getting back to you uh, in a while. I'm going to be showing you uh, the interface for our software instead. So I've got this project ready. Maybe some of you already know uh, the software. In case you don't, mm, that's no problem at all. I'm, I'm sure you're going to be finding this very easy to follow. Uh, so our software is divided into sections. The first section I want to show you is the one called, um, of course, SEO, which is this one. Uh, this part essentially takes care of some of the main uh, points of making SEO properly. So we're talking about having a sitemap, we're talking about image optimization, of course, because you're supposed to optimize your images before putting them online to avoid long waiting times. The software does all of this uh, for you automatically, so you can just worry about selecting the right pictures. You then put them inside the software and the software will do the optimization for you. We're talking about uh, what's called here a uh, file minification, which is essentially another kind of optimization for um, files which contains code. So we're not talking about images, videos, we're talking about code. I'm not going deeper into this because it's, it can get very technical. All you need to know is that the optimization of these files is taken care of by the software. Then moving on to stuff such as structured data, uh, which might sound like a like a peculiar, difficult word, uh, if I say structured data, just like this. By structured data, uh, we mean all of those like hidden parameters that are usually embedded inside the code, which you cannot see and your users cannot see uh, directly from the website, but that search engines and tools just like those are going to be using uh, when analyzing your website to make sure uh, they understand properly the kind of content your website is offering to make sure uh, that the content matches the search of the user, stuff like that. You can see that you have like a, a logo, name, address, CD, even opening hours. Uh, I'm sure that if you ever search, uh, uh, if you ever search for stuff such as um, restaurants or other companies online on Google, you've probably seen that some companies appear on the right side of the search list. You get their images, you get their opening hours, some more detailed information about uh, that company. Uh, and this is exactly what this part of the software aims to do for you. So by filling in these fields, you can also take care of that part. Um, so this is mm, some of the like main stuff. Then we can move over to the pages in step three. You can see that on this uh, test mm, project we got here, we got a few pages. You can go to properties for one of these pages. And here you can customize uh, um, the page title, the tag title, description, keywords, uh, which are only some of the tags Giancarlo uh, mentioned before. Um, it's very important to optimize mm, these tags as well, because again, this is something that maybe the user is not going to see directly when entering your website, but this matters to the search engine. This is very important because according to what keywords you use, what description your website and your pages have, and what title you insert for them, uh, your website is going to be a more or less relevant uh, according to what the user search for online. So this is all stuff that sh you should be uh, paying particular care to. Uh, yeah, of course, we got the page optimization, then we can move on to step four. Uh, we can um, move on to working on SEO for images as well. So you can see when we open up one of our image object, we got the SEO section right here. You can customize the title, you can customize caption, geographical position. Um, all of this data is going to be used to make your content more or less, more or less relevant according to the user search. You can do the same inside the text object because you can actually embed images into your uh, text object. I'm going to show you right here. I'm just going to be picking whatever image, then right click on it, image properties. And you can see right here, just like before, you can customize the title, the alternate, the alternate text, which is essentially the text that is going to be displayed in case your images doesn't load. Um, 
yeah, again, all of this stuff is mostly stuff that happens behind the curtains of your website. This is something you have to do because your website is going to benefit from this, but your user isn't really going to see it. Uh, what the user is going to be paying attention to, uh, and that Giancarlo also mentioned before, is stuff like user experience and design of the website. So, of course, Website X5 gives you a lot of tools to customize your design to make the website look just the look just like the way you want it. But of course, you gotta be sure that your website is properly displayed online. So again, no putting yellow text on white background, not putting mm, buttons mm, too close to each other, not too small, not too big. Uh, your design must be uh, easy um, to the eyes. It must be easy to use, easy to navigate. This is a very important part of the website and this is something only you can take care of because the design is done mostly, of course, by you. Uh, since you got all the tools to build exactly the website you want. Um, so yeah, uh, that being said, I believe this is about all I can say uh, on the software. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to bring Giancarlo back. Okay. Uh, so now that we're back here, uh, I'm just going to be checking if we have like any specific question that maybe uh, Giancarlo can help us answer. Uh, so like, for example, one of our user is asking, um, which uh, meta tag do you believe to be, uh, the most important one? If I were to answer, I'd say all of them are important. It's like going to read a book, but the title says, uh, birds and the content says fish and you wanted a, a book on fish. So you're getting a book and you say, okay, the title says, uh, something completely different. I have no idea what this website is going to be talking about. I don't know if Giancarlo agrees with me. No, no, it's perfect. Nothing to add. The, the, <laughs> okay. Of course, of course, uh, if you have a book, the title is the most important part. But um, of course, also the, the subtitles, uh, text, uh, uh, the cover image, uh, all the aspects are important. Okay, uh, we can say uh, one is more important than another. Uh, you have to manage all the stuffs. When you when in, you take you take care of your, of your SEO, okay. Okay. Then another mm, another question we're getting is um, about about your plans. So we're talking about SEO tester online okay. specifically. Um, what are the main difference? Like, how many websites can I manage with one plan? How many can I manage with the top plan? Uh, can you tell us something about this? Okay, um, basically the plans differs uh, on projects and analysis, okay, and users too. So we have the personal plan uh, that differ on the agency plans uh, because the personal plans are only one user, uh, while the agency plans have uh, five, ten, or twenty-five. I don't, I don't remember uh, users. Okay, if you have uh, the need to put. Uh, your team on uh, SEO tester online, go for an agency plan, okay? Uh, and this is the same things when we talk about projects. Uh, so with the, um, uh, the personal plan, you can manage one, two, or five projects, okay? So if you have a, uh, if you're a consultant so with uh, uh, not so much projects, if you have uh, your own website, uh, so an e-commerce or uh, uh, a simple website, you can go with a personal plan. OK, uh, of course, if you have to manage a lot of websites, uh, so about 15 uh, or 50, OK, uh, you have to go with the agency plan. And the last part is about uh, analysis, because um, let me say projects, projects are about um, websites you want to um, take a look on uh, during the time. OK, so if you want to monitor your website uh, on the technical part, on, on the positioning, you have to create a project. But uh, let me give you an example. If you have uh, on your plan five projects and you are monitoring five websites, uh, you can continue to make some analysis using, for example, the SEO checker or uh, the backlink checker, the keyword research. So there are tools that are not linked or limited by uh, the fact that you, are re you have reached the uh, the project limits. Okay, so for all the information about that, check the uh, the link with the pricing table. Okay.
okay, uh, in the link in the landing page. And also, if you have any question, you can write us. Uh, we will show you all the things, all the differences uh, you need to understand better. Okay. Okay, so I, I get it that no matter if you're maybe you just have your own website to manage or you have multiple ones, you're going to be finding the proper plan for you with SEO Absolutely. Or online. Okay, Absolutely. I, I would say that's perfect. I also see some questions like, is there an, a yearly plan and can we have the possibility for a monthly bill? I would say that exactly what, Absolutely. The, yeah. what the discount yeah. we're offering is for. Yeah, so we're, but we're the, the, annual, the annual plan uh, give you a 30% discount, okay? Yeah, the discount we're offering is exactly for yeah. the yearly plan. We're talking yeah. about that one. Yeah. And, and the pricing is also done uh, monthly. So if you can just check the page that Giancarlo mentioned before, uh, you're going to be finding all the information about billing that you might need if you plan yeah. on starting using the service. Uh, so yeah, that being said, I believe we had one more question um yeah one of our user asked how to index backlinks and essentially what what backlinks are i believe they uh, they are linked to what you mentioned before about earn, uh, links which are earned and links that are built yeah um can you reply the i don't want to give to the user the not the right information yeah, they essentially ask what backlinks are. I believe they're mentioning. Ah, okay, uh, okay. Backlinks links are on other websites. Link. There's are other websites um, put on, on their contents and and I, I don't know uh, and link. Okay, <laughs> through your web pages. So uh, if another website uh, create a content, uh, make an anchor text uh, and put the link to a resource on your website, this is a backlink. Okay, this backlink may be natural in this case we talk about uh, link earning or you can pay uh, the other website to put this link in this case we talk about link building okay then last question and i believe we're done here um one of our users is asking whether uh, you offer a testing time with your plan so if you actually have time to test out the service before committing to it Absolutely, absolutely. You, if you haven't tried before uh, SEO Tester Online, you have se a, 70, a seven days free trial. Uh, so you can try all the tools, uh, choosing the plan you think is the right for you. But of course, at the end, you can continue with the same subscription uh, or you can choose it, another one. Okay. Okay. So I believe that will be all you should see now uh, the banner uh, sliding on the bottom of the screen, just like before. Uh, this is the official link to um, make use of the discount we're offering. This is going to be available uh, until tomorrow. Uh, so if you want to grab this opportunity, uh, don't wait too long. It's, it's going to go away, <laughs> essentially. Uh, so yeah, I, I believe that would be all. Uh, again, thank you, uh, Giancarlo, for joining us today. I hope our webinar was helpful uh, for most of our users. Should you have any further question on website X5, you know you can contact us via our official um, platform. If you have any question for Giancarlo and his team, you can contact them directly on SEO Tester online. Uh, so again, thank you for joining us today, and I hope to see you on our web next webinar. Have a thank good day. Thank you, Stefano. Have a good day. Thank, thank you, Giancarlo. You see you next time.